Hello, my name is Kara Korhonen and I'm the Wallpaper Queen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put wallpaper over your switch plate. Some people find this stark contrast between wallpaper and a white switch plate too jarring. And so to solve that, oftentimes the switch plate will be covered in wallpaper. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. You'll want to find a piece of scrap wallpaper that covers with the same pattern over the switch plate. So it's pretty easy to identify with this wallpaper. I'm looking for the rust orange pattern, which is right here. And so some of this flower will be on top of the switch plate. So here's the outline. I know I've got the right pattern to match up. You'll want to remove the switch plate. Now you want to line up the pattern. So I'm going to cut off this excess. Once you've cut your paper that will cover the switch plate to a manageable size, you're going to, and you've removed the screws, just kind of going to tuck it a little bit and fold it over, trying to match up the patterns. Now if you don't have a pattern, lucky you, that it's going to be a really easy project. It will just require a little bit more effort if you need to match up patterns like I'm doing right now. So that's pretty good. So crease it, definitely fold where the pattern matches at the top. And as you can see, oh, push it in. There we go. So down below, it's the same idea. You're gonna tuck it in, tuck in the paper so you can line up the pattern as best as you can. And because this is peel and stick, even if it was a traditional, it's pretty easy to just shift the paper on the plate. All right, just as you did for the top and bottom, now you're going to fold the sides in so the pattern matches. So now I'm going to fold down all four areas. I haven't taken, I haven't removed the plastic backing off yet. Doing this. And now this is where the two switches actually are. Use a marker to indicate where the switches are located. I removed the plastic backing and lined up the green dots with the openings on the switch plate. Cut at each corner so you have a nice smooth fold. Cut an X in the opening of where the switch goes. Then make a small cut where each screw will go. Pull back the flaps on the open area of the switch plate. Place the wallpapered plate on the wall and tighten the screws as necessary while lining up the pattern. Thank you so much for joining me on how to wallpaper a switch plate today. If you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to the Wallpaper Queen channel. Thank you for watching, and if you have any wallpaper questions whatsoever, please include them down below in the comment section. Thank you.